Hello everybody, this is TechCut. In this video, what we're going to be doing is taking a look at a Linux terminal utility called LSD. And no, it's not that. What it is is an alternative to your standard LS command, the command we all know and love, LS. Simply lists all the documents, uh, folders, directories, the same thing. Lists all that stuff with a simple command for whatever directory you're currently in. Uh, you probably use it quite a bit if you spend any time in the terminal and what LSD does is it just makes it a little bit prettier I can kind of show you that here LSD so you can see it Compacts it down a little bit and it adds some icons and it does a lot more which we'll be getting into in just a sec First, let's go ahead and check out their github page where I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the dependencies that you're going to need to uh, have on your system and after I show you some of the different arguments and things that you could do, uh, I'm going to show you how to completely replace your ls command with this. So when you type ls, it's actually executing the lsd command. So actually getting onto their uh, GitHub page here, lsd stands for ls deluxe, and it does a lot of cool things. You can see the screenshot here that we'll get into how you can make it displayed like this in just a stack. It's based on the old color ls command or uh, project but there are some differences. For example, it is written in Rust, so it performs a lot better than the actual Color LS uh, project. It is available on basically all Linux systems, and it's actually in the official Arch repository, so it's really, really easy to install. And this page will be linked down below, so you could go ahead and run a couple commands and get it super, super easy. Uh, one thing, I did have an issue initially because I didn't read all of this and I didn't have the nerd font package installed. You are going to need a specific font package to make this work uh, properly. Otherwise, some of the icons won't work and you'll have issues like that. You can see it on the screen here. The uh, kind of issue I had and what it will look like if you don't have that font package. Luckily, this font package is available in the AUR. That's how I got it. I used their uh, complete package, so it downloaded a lot of fonts. I think it was um, like 1.5 gigabytes worth of just fonts. But if you do go ahead and go to this readme page, for example, it has all the fonts here and you could go ahead and select specific fonts, download just a couple of them if you want to. And there's a lot more information on those here, but you will need that to get this to function completely properly. So with that said, um, no, another thing before we leave this page, there's a whole configuration that you could get into and read exactly how that works. Uh, down here under the frequently asked questions, these are the default colors, so saying that it's default, that gives you the idea you can change all this if you would like to. It will have various colors for the types of permissions, the file types, whether that be directories, executable files, broken links, and then there'll be options for file sizes and stuff like that. It's really cool. Uh, going back over to our terminal here, we can type lsd again. Actually, let's cd into our downloads folder so you can kind of see what uh, actual files and stuff looks like instead of just directories. If we go LSD, you can see that some of the different file types have their own uh, icons, so such as HTML right here has the little HTML5 uh, icon. Pictures have pictures. It's pretty straightforward. Just generic things like ISOs uh, have this little file icon, and markdown files have their own thing. But where you can really start to have fun with this, if you type LSD dash dash help, this will bring up all the different arguments and all the different things that you can actually go ahead and do. So here flags, you have a for all. It has a lot of the same as LS, but actually not as much. Uh, so for example, if I were to CD back into my home directory, go LSD dash a, it will list all of the files in my home directory, but it'll look a little bit prettier. Uh, go up, we can do something such as classify, which will apply an indicator. So let's go ahead, let's go LSD and dash F for that. And let's go with the L for long. So if I go LSD dash capital F L, hit enter, we can see it's starting to look a little bit better. Uh, we have the actual colors for the permissions. We have the user, the file size, which these aren't files, these are directories in the home directory. We have the different colors for the uh, last time edited and the actual directories. Now let's cd into our downloads and then run this same argument. So if I do lsd-fl, enter here, we can start to see some more information uh, regarding the files such as the permissions, 
the file sizes as well as the color differences in the actual file sizes. You can see here small files are the light kind of uh, tan yellow color whereas the uh, files that are full gigabytes are a darker orange by default. Now you may be asking yourself, how do I replace my ls command with this? Because you're so used to just doing ls, you don't want to have to learn lsd. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is, well there's instructions over here on the github page that you can go ahead and use. So under here, under optional, it says in order to use lsd when entering the ls command, you need to add, the, add this to your shell configuration, which is your bash rc file, usually in your home directory. Which speaking of, you can go ahead and make sure it's in there by cd to your home directory. And then let's go ahead and do this, but add the all argument. And then we should be able to find the bash rc file right here. So just using that in the real world real quick, you can see how nice it is and how much better, at least in my opinion, it is than the standard ls-a. Even though bash rc is right there. It's not too difficult, but it just makes it a little bit prettier. So to go ahead and edit that, we're just going to go to sudo nano.bashrc, making sure that we're actually in our home directory. Type in your password, and now here is our bashrc file. And if we go ahead in this file and we look down here under list, you can actually see the aliases already set up for ls. What we're going to want to do is actually change that. So I'm actually going to go ahead and add a hashtag or a pound sign, depending on how old you are, in front of that to just kind of block it out for now. And then we're gonna go ahead and add what they want us to add, which is uh, ls equals lsd. And you could really do what you want with this, including uh, adding additional arguments and things like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this, go ahead and jump back over here, uh, paste it right here, and that is uh, ls lsd. So if I went ahead and actually before we do that, let's go ahead and add the arguments I want. So we wanted, I enjoyed it when it looked like, uh, I think it was F F L A, just like that. So let's output that, save it, exit, and let's see if it's doing it by default yet. Not quite yet. So we probably need to close this out, relaunch our terminal. Not hundred percent sure, but we'll figure it out. Uh, LS. Yep, there we go. You just need to restart your terminal and it will work just fine. So you can see I went ahead and replaced the ls command with lsd with the arguments I wanted. Uh, I'm probably actually not going to stick with this because this is a lot of information to, dis to display on a single ls command. Uh, for example, let's go ahead and go back in there, type in my password, and let's get rid of that all argument for this. And that, that might be what I decide to settle with. So control O, save that, exit, let's restart our terminal application here, and then let's see how this looks. So ls, and that's looking a lot better. I enjoy that. I'm going to keep that as is for now. I will probably change it eventually a little bit so it doesn't display this much information isn't really quite necessary for what I need, but it is a great start and I do hope that you enjoy playing around with this. Like I said, all the links will be in the description if you want to go ahead and check out the uh, nerd fonts, LSD commands, get everything. There are easy commands that you can copy and paste to go ahead and install all of this. Uh, that concludes the video. If you did enjoy it, please let me know down below or if you have any other applications that you prefer over LS or even LSD, leave those in the comment section down below. A uh, big thank you to my Patreon supporters for supporting my content. It means the world to me. If you would like to support me on Patreon, there'll be a link in the description. If not, liking this video, subscribing to this content is more than enough. I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day and goodbye.